So I'll let you know. We got like 30 people on right now. Uh, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining me. Uh, we've been painting the exterior of this project yesterday and today. So if uh, you're joining us today, I'm going to be masking these uh, pop-out moldings that we uh, sprayed yesterday. And uh, we're going to be painting the uh, main body of the house today. So uh, hang out and enjoy. Ask any questions. And, uh, you let me know where you're from. Got a carpet cleaner over there. We're out here in uh, Gilbert, Arizona today. What's up? The carpet cleaner is loud. Hopefully, everyone can hear us okay. What is the average cost if I got my house painted? Um, anywhere from a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy-five per square foot, depending on details of the project, how many colors are involved. Every project is different. It's, it's really hard to give an accurate bid. Um, you know, it just all depends. Yeah. Uh, dude wants to know the average co the cost with a 1300 square foot single level it's just, it's, it, it everybody always wants to ask me cost and it's just really hard yeah that's like why we do estimates it's like this is why i offer free estimates is to come out take a look at the job you know a 1300 square foot house could have 20 windows versus a 1300 square foot house that has 10 windows you know the, everything's different that's why I say, you know, it averages anywhere between $1.50 to upwards of $2 per square foot, depending on the details, how many colors are involved. Um, my suggestion is always just get, you know, two or three estimates from, uh, you know, qualified professionals, and then, you know, decide which one you want to go with. It's just really hard to tell different parts of the country, materials cost different. He said, he's like, gotcha. I'm in Awatuki. Right on. Too cool. Yeah, anywhere from like $1.50 to $2 per square foot. Yeah, just multiply that with your $1,300. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Love the tape system. Use it for my home when I spray with gray coat. With the gray coat. Dude says he loves the tape system. The the masker, I think. Oh, the hand masker? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Taping is the worst part. <laughs> Not the worst. It depends. It depends who's doing it. You know, I, I actually enjoy masking. Kind of therapeutic for me. I find different ways and different techniques to mask things. Um, I always try to use the least amount of material as possible. However, I don't want to jeopardize any kind of quality. And I hate cleaning. So I prefer to spend a little bit of extra material covering surfaces versus cleaning them later on. So that's just how I like to do things. Gotta wrap these like Christmas presents. Yeah, someone says it's more easy to use sheets of cardboard, like shields, but nah, that's not true. Yeah, that's you get overspray. It's gonna get everywhere. It'll be repeating work. Yep, yep. But if that works for you, by all means, continue to do that. But uh. I've been doing this for 24 years. I have shields of cardboard. I use them when necessary. This is going to assure perfect straight lines with no overspray. After I finish oh, yeah. masking, I like to go over with the rag just to put it down on the tape. Make sure you gotta press down really well on the stucco. This way I don't get any bleed through. What's up? None. Who says nice job? Just joined, are you spraying? Yes, I'll be spraying today. First, I'm gonna mask out all of these uh, pop-out moldings that we sprayed yesterday. Is the orange tape special? Yes, the orange tape uh, has a, it's a little bit more sticky than the regular white tape. So it has a more adhesion. It's a little bit stronger. I like to use it on uh, stucco and masonry surfaces. There's a little bit, it's another cost question, but it's a little more realistic. Someone's asked how much to do a job like this. Um, this job is a $3,500 project. Someone's asked how much to do a job like this. Um, this job is a $3,500 project. Three colors involved, 1,800 square foot house. <laughs> um, a little bit of stucco repair which will also be taken care of today. One guy said 8K. Huh? <laughs> One guy said 8K before you answered. <laughs> Lol. What's the name of that dispenser? It's a, what? It's a hand master. Yeah, 3M. Yeah, M3000. 
Why is it the painters always wear white? We got that yesterday too. Yeah. For one, when we work outside in the heat, it keeps us cool. Uh, white attracts less heat. Also, painters, the most paint that we use is usually white primers, stuff like that. So uh, this way it blends in with our clothes as we uh, get it dirty. That's a good question here. Any reason why we did the trim before doing the body of the house? Yeah, because it's easier to mask the trim versus masking the body of the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> we're wrapping, the, we're wrapping it up for Christmas. Right. <laughs> so are those staying white? Is that? Is that? Yeah, yeah. They're staying white. Okay. Prices are way different in San Diego County, California. Uh -huh, that's what he says. Some guy. You're done wrapping, send it to my house. <laughs> what did he say? Some did say when, when you're done wrapping, send it to my house. I got you. Got <laughs> <Drop> the address. <laughs> So I got some six inch paper I'm gonna use up on here. Let me go get that. That's cool. We got how, uh, what tends to be the usual customer complaint after a job? If one. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really get too many complaints. I mean, nobody's perfect. So I tend to have some touch ups from time to time. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really get too many complaints. I got great reviews online. Um, Sometimes I guess the, the biggest complaint is not being able to get them in the schedule soon enough. Um, you know, sometimes they just, they can't wait for me to get in there to do the work for them. So they have to hire somebody else. Um, so. Yeah, it happens. Want to wrap my Christmas presents this year? <laughs> yeah, I charge uh, $45 per hour to wrap Christmas <laughs> presents. Yeah, it's not cheap, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you can catch me at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so here I got six inch paper um, versus the 12 inch that's on the other hand masker. Um, the reason being is this soffit right here is not that large, so I don't need to waste 12 inch paper on it. Like, all right. Do prices increase during summer since you're in AZ? Yeah. Uh, prices increase if my materials increase. Um, as far as the labor, not really. No. Um, we just tend to start a little bit earlier in the summer. Um, Got to deal with it. However, you know, if the demand is high, um, then, you know, the prices, they do increase a little bit, supply and demand. Why does everyone use that brown color? Is that just standards? Standard? What? Brown color what? Paper? paper? I think so. Um, yeah, it usually comes brown. Sometimes I get white paper um, just because that'll be the paper that they have. Uh, you know, I think they use recycled products. So I guess it depends on how bleached or how much coloration they put in it. Some, some rolls are darker than other rolls, as you can see. Um, you know, they're different colors. So it just all depends on the batch. Um, pretty standard. Dude says we also use plastic. Yeah. yeah, I have some plastic too. That's what we use on the windows then. Um, oh, like the plastic sheets. The plastic sheets, yeah. I yeah, have we have that too, yeah. Maybe not. 
Oh, he meant the houses, all the same style and color. So yeah, these this is an HOA, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they have like a set list of colors they have to abide by. I didn't know that. Unfortunately, when it's cold out, the adhesion of the tape doesn't work as great. Yeah. So you have to be real patient with the roll. Make sure you're uh, pushing it down really well. And uh, as it keeps up, um, it'll stick better. But uh, like I said, I keep this blue rag with me and I use it to push down. Right. So, you prefer Graco or Titan? <laughs> uh, I prefer Graco. Um, real quick, I got um, Joe just showed up. I'm going to show him where the stucco repair is. This way, he could take care of that for us today. Cool. We're in Gilbert, Arizona, right now. Yeah, if you want to open up that bad gate. Cool, cool. I'm going to go back to the stucco repairs. Titan is better. Hey, hey, how's it going, Joe? Job is going to be working on this. There's some gloves I found in my nice. shed the other day. Nice. <laughs> he found his gloves. Those gloves, Julian gave them to me, what, two years ago? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost one, then I found it, then I, I don't know, I stuck it somewhere in, uh, in the ship. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How much is the job? This is a $3,500 job, right? Yeah, $1,800 square foot house, three colors. How do you prevent a stipple ceiling from peeling when you paint? A what? A stippled, stippled ceiling? A stippled ceiling? I, ce I'm not really sure what they mean. Maybe, are. yeah, you mean like a popcorn ceiling maybe? Popcorn? I don't paint popcorn ceilings. You usually peel that off. Yeah. But. Primers, oil, yeah, I mean. Yeah, usually, you usually some oil primer. Oil primer is usually pretty good to keep anything from peeling, unless you don't treat the surface properly beforehand. Um, it doesn't really matter what primer you use. Right. I was gonna say when we when we were trying to stop peeling, we use the seal crete, right, in our paint. No, there's a peel stop primer. Peel stop primer. Okay. We just use seal crete. Anyway. By Zinzer, I believe. Zinzer. Hate removing popcorn. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Don't really do it that much anymore. <laughs> it's easy if you wet it. It's easier. It's still annoying, though. <laughs> It's still it's tedious. A, yeah. If you wet it, you have to wait for it to dry so that you can uh, bag it up and dispose of it. Otherwise, it just um, weighs pounds. Huh? Otherwise, it weighs pounds. Yeah, it, it gets heavy. It's, it's a nasty job. In what order do you paint the exterior? Well, it's the order we've been doing it here, but pop out yeah. first usually. usually. We uh, do the pop-out trim, then I mask that, I do the main body, 
Um, I also did the garage door yesterday. We would normally do the front door. However, on this project, the front door is custom. We're not doing anything to it. It's really fascinating. Kudos, guys. Looks like a hard day's worth of work. Thanks, man. Appreciate support. Thanks for uh, joining us. For everyone that's joining us today. Do you have to worry about overspray on driveways, bushes, grass? No, because we uh, um, we cover everything. Yeah. That needs to be covered. As far as bushes and grass, I mean, those yeah. grow. It grows back. So, um, if there's a little bit of overspray or so, I mean, we try not to, but I mean, if there is a little bit, it's not a big deal. You know, the landscapers will end up trimming the bushes and the shrub and they'll end up mowing the grass. So, um, but yes, the driveways, we want to make sure we take care of as well as the back patio floors. Uh, so we do mask those. We use tar paper as well as some drops. Ever dropped a bucket of paint? <laughs> oh, yes, many times. It's happened. Um, <laughs> I did it not too long ago myself. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. You just got to be able to clean it up. The five gallon. Keep keep your cool. He's not like, let it frustrate you. It happens. And it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. you know. So you just got to kind of anticipate it when it happens. You know how to... Play it cool, take care of it, and do the best you can to, to clean it up and uh, remedy the problem. Yeah. Every painter spills paint. Yep. <laughs> um, what is this? What kind of tape are you using to stick to the stucco? It's an orange Dun Edwards tape. So we're using on the top. I mean, even the white tape works though. White tape works too. It's just not. It doesn't have as much adhesive. So you gotta and, uh, press so it in when, there a bit more, right? Huh? Yeah, press it in there a bit more. Yeah. So when working with uh, stucco or masonry or bricks or anything like that, I typically like to use the orange tape. It doesn't give me any problems usually. It's got pretty good adhesive. Um, I find that the Dun Edwards brand is a little bit better than the 3M or the Scotch. So. That's why I use Dun Edwards orange tape. Um, Dun Edwards is a Southwest region. So if you live in the East Coast, uh, most likely you don't have a Dun Edwards. So you could just use the uh, 3M or Sureline. I believe he makes that orange tape as well. It's pretty good. What exterior paint we're using? I'm going to be using that Sparta Shield. Right here. Take a look at it. It's black. Right here, Dun Edwards, Sparta Shield. Hello from Australia. Keep up the good work, boys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. <laughs> I'm asking these uh, pop outs here. Huh. All right. Sorry if I'm not able to get to all your questions, guys. Yeah, if you ask a question and I don't answer it, please ask it again. I'll try to get to it. Um, how many viewers do we have right now? Like 540. We got about 500 viewers right now. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'll try my best to get to everybody's questions or comments. Um, whoop, whoop. Once again, I really appreciate all the support. This is day two of an exterior project. We're going to be uh, painting the main body. Uh, yesterday, we painted these uh, pop-out moldings. And so uh, today we're masking them and uh, we're gonna take care of the main body. Why do painters wear all white? Yeah. Um, just keep cool. So keeps, cool. keeps us nice and cool in the heat. And, uh, you know, we work with a lot of white paint too. I mean, obviously, not just white paint. <coughs> what part of Arizona are you in? We're in Gilbert right now, right? Gilbert. We work out of Mesa usually. Yep. Hi from West Hollywood, California. 
What up? California's in the house. Hollywood, California. All right. That's what's up. Unfortunately, we do not do West Valley. Yeah. Uh, pretty much east of Phoenix, central Phoenix, and uh, east is pretty much the areas that I service right now. I'm from Montana, Oregon. What up, Oregon? What up, Montana? Texas. Texas is in the house. Thanks for joining us. Whoop, whoop, Michigan. All right, Michigan's in the house. Uh, out here in Arizona, we get a lot of uh, snowbirds from all over the country. Um, we got beautiful weather out here. Um, pretty much can paint all year round. Um, so great for business. What up from Georgia? What's up, Georgia? Thanks for joining us. So on the bottom here, I could probably put some plastic. Got a what up from Tucson. What up, Tucson? Tucson, Arizona in the house. How's the painting game down there in Tucson? Hey, Fresno, Ohio. What's up, Ohio? Florida. Fresno, Ohio or Fresno, California? Fresno, California and Ohio. All right, what up, Fresno? What up, Ohio? Yeah, what up? What's good from Florida? Up, FL. How's it going, Arkansas? All right, dang, everybody's <laughs> up in here. All right. Right. Nobody working today? Right. <laughs> dang, just me. Orlando, San Antonio. That's what's up. Hawaii, whoop Hawaii. whoop. Hawaii, all right. Yeah. I didn't even know you guys were up already. All right, damn. <laughs> Virginia. Uh, so I'm going to use plastic on this bottom part here. Cool, cool. Plastic. Um, since we're going to do the very bottom foundation by hand. Cool, cool. Yeah. Scotland, Houston, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, what is up? Right. up? Turlock, California, what up? He's Actually, about to spray an apartment building. I don't need this paper. Paper? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'll just be careful when I spray. Cool. <laughs> All right. Part of Arizona, guys. We're in Gilbert right now. And we got a lot of snow, guys. Dang. Bernardino. What up, San Bernardino? What up, Cali? A lot of Cali in the house. Appreciate all the support. Oh, yeah. Some, I know we got some painters out there in Cali. Yep, another Santa Cruz, California. What up, what up? Got family out there, yo. Yep, we heard you guys got flooded out there in Santa Cruz. Hopefully everybody's okay. <coughs> What tip you guys use to spray the house? Uh, I'll be using a 514 low pressure uh, Draco Rack 10. Anybody brush roll anymore? Yeah. Yeah, interior. Interior is all we do. Um, we're going to be back rolling. Um, you know, we want to ensure proper coverage. Good day from South Africa. South Africa. I think that's the second person from there that we've heard from. Yeah, today. actually. Huh. What's up, yo? Thanks for joining us. Pro spray painting in Fresno. What's up? It's like you're gift wrapping a house, right? <laughs> exactly. During the holidays, I'm Santa's helper. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys putting in one or two coats? Uh, two coats. We're spraying once vertical, once horizontal using a back roll technique. Um, 
So it's really not more about the amount of coats, it's more about the proper mill thickness. So it's about using the proper tip and the proper technique to ensure proper coverage on this type of stuff. Um, here we got this for tip and the proper technique to ensure proper coverage on this type of stuff. Um, here we got this for Where do you get the paper with the tape? It's actually separate, but um, you get the actual masking device and you just pop the tape on there and then you feed it through this little hole thing here. Yep. But yeah, it's uh, you can get them in most paint stores. So I do have a YouTube channel. Um, I do have a video that goes over the uh, Handmasker M3000, the use, you know, how to put it together and stuff. Check out my YouTube channel, The Arizona Painter. Uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, and I got all kinds of videos, mini tutorials on there that you can check out as well as my live video replays. Awesome. Cool. So you see how sometimes the tape it starts to come up off. I don't want this when I'm spraying. So if I go around with this rag, I'll just give it a good push down. Just make sure that my tape is nice and adhered to the surface. And I don't mess up my fingers from this stuff though. Um, it's got sand in it, so yeah. it could really mess you up sometimes. Let me finish this top. Uh, nobody asking about you today, huh? Yeah, let me, uh, we got a couple in the beginning. I just ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> Froze. What? Pretty nice today, not too windy, which is great. Um, makes it, it definitely makes it a lot easier to be able to, uh, you know, do some proper masking. Um, What size spray tip we're using? Uh, 514 Rack 10, low pressure, FFLP. Uh, we're gonna be using a uh, back load technique as well. Get that money. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> right. Also went out here. And the paint gun. Right.
almost there. All done so far. Wouldn't it be easier masking do white last? No. No, yeah, it's harder to Not mask the mask the body. So um and then you'd have to mask the top, and you gotta mask the bottom, and you gotta mask underneath because when you're spraying white the overspray wants to attract to the stucco. Yeah, this so way we cover the whole this pop here out. Protecting the whole pop out, I don't get any overspray on it whatsoever. Uh, Dexter day two. <laughs> huh? Someone says Dexter day two. Dexter day two. <laughs> Dexter fans, huh? They got that new season out. Uh -huh. You can just roll it and you'd be done. Uh, okay. Show us how it's done, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know? For real. This is how I do it. This is my process. What colors? This is the pop out color we're gonna be keeping with, and then the body's gonna be kind of like a beige, you said? Yeah, it's uh. Actually, have. I'm gonna look at the color real quick. I'm gonna look at the color real fast. You can kind of see it through the top there. Pretty much the same, I mean, pretty similar. Byron. Multiple coats if you rolled it. Yeah. Multiple. Oh, it's winter in Europe, so we're done outside. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> all these we'll just keep rep remember that little uh video i showed you from instagram or from uh, i think it was snapchat byron the the old guy's like he's like byron byron that's what they keep they keep saying my boy byron <laughs> who's that <laughs> random people keep calling saying it <laughs> oh thank you for the rose much appreciated yes whatever that is it's a sticker. It's oh, like right on, a little present you. thing. Appreciate the present. Hell yeah. I'm wrapping this house like a present, so by all means. Yeah, we got like 1.5K right now. Nice. What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us. Pretty much uh, repainting the exterior of this home here. Um, we are... Uh, Yesterday we painted the pop-outs and the uh, garage door, and today we are going to take care of the body. Um, we also have a little bit of stucco repair. If, if Julian wants to take you around to the back, you can see how that's going, and then you yeah. can come back here. Cool, cool. And yeah, we got the got pops in the back doing the stucco. Yeah, usually it's me masking. I gotta hold the camera. <laughs> hey, hey, Joe. What's going on? How's it going? Right. I'm hella weak off of the, all the Byron comments. Funny, guys. Live right now, Joe. If you like the first layer, then I put the, uh, the stucco. Oh, yeah. Padding. 
This is kind of deep. So we're in Arizona right now. Gilbert, Arizona, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Has to be New York. Byron's there. <laughs> mm. Nice. Yeah, we got a little stucco going ourselves. Usually don't do too much stucco, but little repairs here and there. Cool, cool. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> we just got a Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, green lines. Cool, the stucco's looking good back there. What's up? Stucco's looking good back there. Yep. Joe was explaining a little bit. He's like, this is the first coat, and then I'm going to do the texture. <laughs> nice. Yeah. A little bit of information for me. Yeah, yeah. Does he know we're filming? Yeah, I told him. I was like, we're live right now. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right there, folks, is my father, Joe. He's the man, He's the man with the plan. Yeah. <laughs> says uh, these guys are awesome. No cigarette breaks, lol. We don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Not anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We use a Wagner or Graco spray machine. Graco. We use the Graco. Where did we get the tool, the 3M tool? Uh, you can purchase it at uh, Home Depot, Sherwin-Williams, uh, any major paint store online on Amazon, I think. You. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I do hear from some of my followers in some countries it's not available. It's unfortunate. What the heck? The way he reads, Are you making fun of me? <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Next. Az time. It's nine thirty-five right now. No daylight savings. <laughs> and he said, no, the way you actually read LOL, I always say lol. <laughs> uh -oh. Lol. Lol. Yeah. Lol. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. Let's, let's go, Brandon. That's, how there's, that's when you read off a teleprompter. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, end quote. <laughs> this is a $3,500 job. 
1,800 square foot, you said, right? Yep. My guy, I hope that guy tapes some off. <laughs> nah, he's helping me so you guys can uh, enjoy. Enjoy this episode, this live footage. Yeah. JK, well, <laughs> you're getting it. <laughs> How many jobs have y'all done this year so far? This year? Yeah. This is the one, two, this is the fourth job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably the fourth one, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Where is everybody getting this orange tape? Most paint stores have it, and even Home Depot, I think, but it's a... Uh, Good super adhesive tape. Yes, is the cameraman on the clock too? Yes. What you? Yeah. What's the question? It said, uh, "Is the cameraman on the clock too?" Yes. <laughs> yes, the cameraman is on the clock, right? In order for you to all enjoy this live footage, I have to have someone as a cameraman. <laughs> How does that stick to stucco? Uh, a lot of pressure? Yeah. yeah, I use a rag to just that's right, tack that's, it down. That's the key right there. That just kind of helps grab onto the little bit of sand. Um, that's pretty much my secret. I mean, I don't know. We had our front porch painted, talking, et cetera, et cetera, about 1,200 square feet for 4,000. Where? <laughs> Thoughts on frog tape over 3M? This this is just uh, 3M, regular 2020, contractor grade, white tape. We use the frog tape for the windows, though. Yeah, the frog tape we use for the windows because it's waterproof and has the uh, paint block technology. Nice. Where do I apply for painter's cameraman? <laughs> Positions already filled. <laughs> <laughs> nice that the wind ain't blowing, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a nice day today. Oh, yeah. It definitely helps when it's not windy. A few clouds. Um, I always tape a section and spray. Everyone does things differently. Yeah, there's more than one way to get something done. Um, see here, I spend all the time on the prep and then spraying, I can just keep on moving um, versus a section at a time. And then the skin forms on the pump, on in the paint. You know, we wanna make sure that we're uh, continuing to flow. So we got cool. Two, uh, it's about everything. Uh, jump up there and oh, that's right. That. One more. Uh, tune back in. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the live. I'll be back in a little bit. Um, this way you can check it out as we spray the uh, entire house. All right, awesome. Yeah.